conscious speaking to you. Fuck everyone that wants to ride the dick now. Alright YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Jerry's back at it with another episode of Real Talk And today's topic, lovely, lovely young lady who gets hit upside the head with a brick What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I mean, apparently some dude decided he was Craig from Friday and uh, decided she was a Debo <laughs> He said, I'm filling in bricks like Craig. I'm trying to drop these hoes. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, shout out to Dreamville. But anyway, um, we have a lovely case of uh, F around to find out from this lovely, lovely young black woman uh, who self-identifies as a lesbian, by the way, who says um, black men don't protect black women. So I guess she spoke her, um, her projection into her reality. So... Let's take a look at these three clips and let's all have a good laugh together of how this lady got um uh, kind of what she asked for. I I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual pro property with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones. And, the and let me just say, <laughs> I ran into a lady that talked like this one day, like about freaking white women owe us because of our breast milk. And like, you're like, what? <laughs> like, oh my God. Freaking A, bro. Oh God. A two. Bitch, not even a three. <laughs> Because men are not providers and providers. Hey, yo, what the only fuck? protect what they possess. But we protect everybody and we provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch a girl tonight because I hope I do. Y'all hear that voice? <laughs> Y'all hear that voice? Oh my god. That voice is disgusting. <laughs> oh, that laugh. What is that? And don't forget. Before there was feminism, it was lesbians who were living those lives without worried about niggas. Like, they were not worried about niggas. They were decentering men. So before there was feminism, there were lesbians. Hey, excuse me, tongue. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, I get it, boo. You don't need no men. All right, I got it. you and the rest of your squad. Y'all don't need men. We heard you we heard you right so um yeah no men got it so video number two Number two. So, and then remember the context, right? The story, the story, remember this context. But remember, the story is that a dude asked her for her phone number and she just rejected him. And he got so upset that this lovely lady turned him down that he decided to grab a brick and proceed upside her head with it. That's the story that they are peddling and want me to believe right now. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch and they don't give a fuck. Yeah. And I guess she's lumping all of uh, black men together, black American men, black Africans, Somalis, or whatever these guys are. Because I don't know if you can tell by their accent, but they're not American. This man, this man hit you. What did you want that to do? <laughs> oh, man. She's probably like some kind of African, and she's probably like at a club or some kind of spot that people of her culture frequent, which I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but hey. 
fucking what, grabbed a rock and it hit me in my fucking face because I would have given him my number. Break and all y'all just fucking watch. What you y'all see that shit? What you y'all see that shit? What do y'all, what y'all do? I want y'all to be a man. But you said black men don't protect anything that isn't innately theirs. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. And then I'm sure there were other women around and they're... They could have protected you because you said black women protect everything. And then, here's my thing, right? Here's my thing, right? The dude picked up a brick and then cocked it back and then hit you upside the head. You had more than enough time to get away. You could have dodged because, generally speaking, when you hold a brick, generally speaking, you're not going to be able to swing a brick that fast. Generally speaking. But you could have ran away, because let's be honest, most of these chicks be wearing tennis shoes and stuff at the club nowadays. Or some flats. Like, like, like these hoes be wearing Jordans. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure she wasn't wearing no heels, so she probably could have got away. Just uh, skimpled on up out of there. But, you know, it is what it is. And then, now, the end result, her at the hospital. Apparently. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I don't know, boo-boo. Ask that white guy you slapped. I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he, he picked up a brick in front of so many men. Ain't no way that this random dude was just like, Hey, yo, ma, let me get your number. And then you were like, no. And then he was like, oh, yeah. And then grabbed a brick and then hit you upside. It ain't no way, kid. Ain't no way, kid. I'm not buying it. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not buying it. It was like, what are you gonna do? And I told all these men, like, yo. Yeah, you, you, you lying, baby girl. Stop it. Get some help. Cause, uh, yeah, ain't no dude just hitting chicks with bricks just because you tell them you're not giving him your number. Like, otherwise, I'm pretty sure there would be a long line of chicks with knots on their faces from rejecting this guy. Cause, let's be honest, you are a solid five. Like four, probably on the regular, but you are a solid five on your best day. And this dude got so mad that you rejected him that he grabbed a brick and was like, Yeah, I can't. Nah, come on now, stop. Why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. Why didn't you get up out of there? And all he's is watching, and nobody does nothing. You damn right, I ain't doing nothing. That dude could probably have the burner on him. I'd do something. He like, then pop, pop, I'm gone. Like, nah, and then I'm dying for you? Like, nah, I'm, I'm dying for a solid four? <laughs> I'm dying for a solid four who ain't giving me no cheeks? What? Girl, you crazy. And he hits me in my face, and then they all just watch. And they let that nigga get in the car. You damn right. <laughs> How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? Hey, uh, y'all chicks that don't need no men, y'all better, y'all better gather together. Y'all better pull a Captain Planet. <laughs> oh, man. I really, like, don't understand, like. These hoes better pull a Voltron. I'm just trying to take my friend out from five years ago. Like, literally spending my whole money not bothering nobody. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? I'm in the parking lot just trying to buy some food. And, like. I'm literally like, why is this girl busted up on me like this? And I'm looking at all these dicks. They literally let this nigga do all of this. They let that girl like really like do all of that. And while he was doing all that, you should have got the fuck up out of there, <laughs> baby girl. I'm sorry. I never thought it was going to happen, yo. Like, it's so wild. And he's going to get away with it. He got in the car. He got away. He's never gonna get caught. He's gonna move on. He's probably at an after party right now having a good time. Do you feel good about yourself doing this to a woman? I mean, 
Yeah, y'all said y'all equal, so I don't know how the woman thing comes into effect, right? Y'all wanted equal rights, equal protections, yada, 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 yada. So now that you're equal to a man, quote unquote, um, you have the equal right to defend yourself from said men who assaulted you with said brick. I would advise you to find this man and assault him back with said brick or a different brick. Maybe an object sturdier than a brick. Maybe a pole. Maybe a firearm. <laughs> For what? Like, all this violence against black women is not okay. Like, there ain't no freaking violence against black women on this massive scale. Stop it, lady. What do I do to deserve this? Like, how? What is my defense against this? Bad crazy because I haven't been out all year. Like, all year I haven't been out all year. I haven't been out all year. I only came out because my friend was in town. And look at me now. Look at me now. I got all. Look at me now. Hey, look at me now. Uh, uh, she getting hit, boy. But no, and, and bro, okay, you, you, I haven't come outside all year. Oh my God, I ain't not doing this. Bro, you think this chick twerking ratchet old uh, uh, my boy I probably smoke weed and like 20 black and miles every day my lips black good and me almost you you think she ain't go outside all summer come on now another ear my ear is bleeding y'all my ear is bleeding this you got my ear bleeding she say that like an ear ain't never supposed to bleed. Like, dang, like ears don't have blood flowing through them. Like if I just didn't nick my ear right now, ain't no blood gonna come out. Just know I'm sure niggas straight up first. Like, yo, any nigga that say what's up to me, I'm sure y'all niggas like, yeah. work boy. I don't even care about my face because I'm still gonna be prettier than all of y'all niggas because I have a pretty heart. <laughs> what? <laughs> You gonna be prettier than all the niggas? What the fuck? It was a dude that assaulted you, and I'm pretty sure he's not trying to be pretty. Oh my god, what are you talking about, baby girl? What are you doing? But well, my heart is broken, y'all. My heart is broken because I would stand up for any of y'all. I stand up for everybody. I stand up for everybody. And nobody ever stands up for me. And my heart is broken. You know, it's been 12 hours, I'm in the hospital, I'm getting discharged. I do have a concussion, so I gotta take it slow for a week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's gonna give me that kind of grace, so, you know, I still got a brother, I still gotta teach, I still gotta work. <laughs> I really just want the best for everybody, and I don't know why people like kill me. I can't even chew food the next week. <laughs> I had a vacation that I paid six months ago for my birthday. And I'm so afraid, like, I'm so afraid, like, why do people want to hurt me so bad? Ain't nobody out here trying to just hurt you for no reason. Let's let's cut the cat. Let's cut the cat. All right, all right, all right, all right. Y'all ready for some? Of course. Whoops, I meant for some real talk, but yeah, um, of course you're ready for some real talk. But anyway, um, so let let's just let's just recap. Let's just recap what happened because I'm pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at this. So you was probably at the club. Some thug probably walked up to you and was like, "Hey, yo, ma, let me get your number." And you was probably like. Mm, you ain't getting this number in the most disrespectful way possible. And then he probably got mad that you disrespected him in such a disrespectful way, decided to get the nearest blunt object and decided to take it upside your head. And then when other said black males did not get involved because we know, hmm, that dude's a thug. He probably packing some heat. He probably gonna shoot my dumb ass. So I'm probably not gonna get involved. So, when the other black dudes don't get involved, you're like, Why didn't you black men do anything? You saw him about to hit me. Like, yeah, we did. You saw him about to hit you too. <laughs> and you sat there and let this man hit you. So, uh, I'm not about to help somebody who don't want to be helped. <laughs> Besides, uh, most chicks like this have a track record of going back to the dude who abused them. And for all they knew, 
Y'all could have just been in a relationship having a domestic dispute. So I'm not about to risk my life and crash out over you. And then that's your boyfriend. And this is just another Tuesday for y'all. So let that be what it is. And um, yeah, we'll just call it right there. But with that, it's been your boy Jerice back with another episode of Real Talk. Uh, let me know how y'all like the new camera setup, cause um, yeah, it's 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 a lot it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot cleaner, huh? Now you can't really see my green screen in the background besides the clips, cause I need to move it, but I'll do that in the next video. And the audio should sound a little bit better, cause I cleaned up my audio settings and took off that bad uh, noise suppression. But um, yeah. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, it's been your boy Jerry's back with another episode of Real Talk, and um, I'll catch y'all in the next video. And don't forget, live streams are coming real soon since I've reached 2K. I think first live stream might be Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm out. Before you go, you need to tap into your mind. Open up your skull, stop living life blind. Before you go, you need to tap into your mind. Open up your skull, stop living life blind. Before you go, you need to tap into your mind. Open up your skull, stop living life blind. Before you go, you need to tap into your mind.